Remember when a phone used to be a phone? Now apparently, it's an amplifier. What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear God's Quality Control, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Bias Effects Universal app for the iPhone from Positive Grid. So today I'm just going to take you on a quick tour of the different features and a couple of the sounds that are in Bias Effects Universal. Kind of the big deal is that uh, now we've got Bias Effects in the iPhone, whereas previously it was only available as an iPad app. So right now I'm using the iRig Pro Duo from IK Multimedia as my interface, and I'm uh, sending the outs from that directly into the back of my Apollo Twin Quad from Universal Audio. So that's what you're hearing right now. All the tones are coming from the phone. The tones are in the phone. There are a number of presets in here. I uh, dialed in a quick metal tone that you heard in the beginning. It's quite chunky. If you can believe it or not, this is like a, it's called a tread plate. It's like a Mesa rectifier sound. Um, normally, I'm not really into those kind of sounds. This one sounds sick. So let's take a look at what we got here. So the layout, uh, pretty much identical to the uh, bias effects on the iPad, but we've got an input volume, so you can, so you can see if you're peaking in the front end. Um, there's a tuner. Check this out. It tunes. That's what it looks like when you're tuning. You can tune to not 440 if you like. Um, and you can hear your uh, signal as you tune if you uh, desire. There is a built-in metronome, very handy. You can adjust the volume. You can adjust how many beats you hear. Um, you can adjust the BPM. And you go faster or slower with the tap tempo. All right, then we've got live view. So the idea here is that you can utilize um, like a foot switch situation. For instance, the positive grid has a, f a four button foot switch that you can use and you can set it up in here. Um, I don't have that, so I wasn't able to do it, but that's something that you can do for live. This could be your, your rig. If you've got uh, an interface like this, go straight out to front of house. Um, you could literally run your whole rig off of your phone with live switching and everything. The global settings panel is extraordinarily handy because you can set it up with a touch of a single button um, depending on the kind of situation you're in for live or recording, okay? Right now it's set up for direct out, which makes sense because we're going straight into Pro Tools. So we just want the full sound of everything, preamp, power amp, cab sound, pedals, effects, the whole shebang, okay? So that's cool, but let's say you're playing a show and there's a stack there, uh, you know, a full head and cab stack, and you just want the preamp sounds and effects from here. You just go ahead and hit the stack power amp setting, and then what you're gonna get, it's gonna sound really bad right now. And the reason it sounds gross is because now there's no power amp or cab sim on there. And that's so that you can go into the effects loop return, and then skip the front end of the amp and this is now your front end and effects and everything. So this is gonna be the sound, and then it's gonna go through the power tubes and the cab. Combo power amp is pretty much the same deal. I don't know why there's another setting for it. Then we've got the amp front. So this is if you're going straight into the front of an amp into the input jack. And this way they've turned off the tone stack because your preamp already has a tone stack. That's the bass, middle, and treble knobs. But um, now we've just got the preamp settings. So presumably you'll be going into like a clean channel on an amp into the input. Um, this will have you set up just for that. Moving on, there's an output volume because you wanna make sure that you're not clipping the output or that it's not gonna be too loud. And then here at the end, we've got a little sliders. So you can adjust the output level if it's too loud. Maybe your interface isn't quite as, uh, I wanna say, sophisticated as this one, which is funny because it's pretty simple, but I don't know, maybe you've got the volume maxed out or whatever. You can adjust it in here in the app before it gets to your interface. All right, so now let's take a look at the signal path layout. It's really simple. Right in the middle, we've got our amp 
or amps. You can have a dual amp parallel setup. And then on the left, we've got all the effects that are going into the front end of the amp. And then over here on the right, we've got everything that goes into the effects loop, like time-based effects and stuff like that. This is just my sort of quick metal tone that I dialed in. So we've got over here on the left, I've got the gate and then a boost and a drive pedal going in. Let's take a look at those close up. So you tap on it and it pulls up the pedal so that you can change all the different effects uh, parameters. It's just as easy as this to take them in and out of your effects chain though, which is crazy cool. And then for example, over here, we've got delay and reverb. Pop those in the chain for a nice solo kind of a sound. <laughs> So that sounds pretty cool. It sounds like, to me, like there's just too much delay in there. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the effects level down a bit. That's the mix. Get that a little more palatable. Yeah, that sounds much better. Now let's say I wanted to swap this out with a different kind of uh, effect altogether. Let's say I want to use some kind of a uh, modulation effect. Let's try this phaser instead. Crazy easy to swap stuff in and out. And then I don't like it, just take it right out like that. Easy beans. If I really like this sound, it's super easy to save it. I just go over here to this down button and then I hit save as. Then I find an empty slot in the user presets section. And just tap on it. I'm going to call it tray tone. Uh. Tray tone. This was based on a factory preset. There are a bunch of them in there. Let's go through a couple of them and check them out. Let's see what they've got. This one is called Arsenal. Next one, ping pong rhythm. Some of these have some pretty uh, involved effects chains. Uh, this one is demonstrating a dual amp setup that you can do. We've got two completely different amps in here. There's a splitter right before it so that they're able to run in parallel and then it recombines over here at the mixer. And then each of these amps can have its own effects on it before it's recombined over here and then you can put more effects on that sound that's coming in. There's a lot you can do with this. Johnny's Blues. Oh good, now I'll play the blues. <laughs> British. Sweet kid. Sweet kid. Pretty dead on sweet child of mine. Frusciante. Anyway, so that gives you an idea of some of the different presets that they've got already built in there. And then, of course, you can take those and change them up and save them as your own with some slight variations. Or you can build a tone completely from scratch if you want. It's extremely easy to do. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it over just the last couple of days. And I love the idea of being able to have your complete signal chain all in here and get all of your tones right off your phone pretty handy and useful to have. So let's say you've made a preset that you really like and you want to share it with the world. You can upload it to the Tone Cloud by just hitting this up button and then it gives you some options so you can choose the genre. You can write a little description in here. Yay. And then just hit upload and boom, everyone in the world now has access to your tone that you've just created. All this and more inside an app that goes on your phone. Pretty impressive. Bias FX Universal is now on the iPhone. Get it in the App Store. Thanks so much to our patrons this week for making this and all of our other videos possible. If you want to get in on this action, head over to patreon.com slash geargods and see what we've got going on. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button and smack the bell for more reviews and original content, and I'll see you real soon.
Guys, if you like my songs, just super subscribe to my Patreon. If you're subscribed at any tier, all the songs are free. Just click right here.